The farmer's market kicks off tomorrow. The economists say it's one of the best ways to keep money in the state. Local News 8's Bree Clark got a chance to visit a local mom and pop store. They say the farmer's market made their dream a reality. You can smell the, the herbs, they're um, very alive. When you think of farmer's market, you usually think of fresh produce. So if you would have asked Liesel and Timbo Sika a few years ago if their family would be farmer's market veterans, they would have said no. I started out by um, growing my own herbs in my yard and treating the kids and, um, and eventually I came up with this tea blend. But even then, Liesel didn't realize she had come up with a great local product. Part, part of it was economy, you know. And some friends and family, you know, were telling us it was good, but we didn't know how good it was until a couple of friends of ours, people we know, encouraged, you know, my wife to do it. And then I kind of got pulled into it myself. We were both unemployed, and we ended up um, pulling together $500 and went to the farmer's market. And, uh, and after two months, we were able to pay ourselves back. Making this type of profit is exactly what local economists are hoping for. Cash flow trickling from small investments into small businesses. We talk to economists and any, any dollar that's spent locally, it comes back two or three times. It's very, very beneficial to um, spend money locally. And Liesel and Tim have taken this concept further by opening their shop to local vendors. When we started the, um, the store, we decided we wanted that. We wanted to bring that feel um, into our store so that we could bring community and family and get to uh, be able to um, share some of these great products that our community is producing. Reporting from Idaho Falls, I'm Bree Clark. Liesl and Tim will still participate in this year's Farmer's Market, and you can stop by and see them along with other local vendors every Saturday from now until the 25th of October.